Hello all, today I will show you how to add the button and text view in Flutter app. So first of all, you can just start the command prompt. Here in command prompt, you can select the directory in which you want to develop the first Flutter application. So I'm just moving to the e drive. Then you can just move to the directory in which you want to create the Flutter project. So I'm just moving to the directory that is development directory. Here you can simply write the command Flutter create and then you can write the name of your application that is the button text demo just press the enter and your demo will be created see once your demo is created once your folder is created you can make the edit into your project in visual studio code so here in Visual Studio Code, you can simply open the folder. So my folder is available in the E drive. So I'm just selecting the E drive development folder. And then you can simply select the button text demo folder and you can select the same. Once you select the folder here in lib directory, there is a one file that is main dot dot. Simply you can select all by pressing the control A and you can delete the code. Now, I want to write the code over here, my own code, right? So you can first simply write the main function over here. So I'm writing the main function. Here in main, you can call the function that is run application function. Here in run application, we can pass an instance of application that you want to create. So I'm simply passing the instance of my app, but I need to create the class my app. So I'm simply creating the class my app, which will be extending from my state full widget or state less widget. Right now I'm just using the class that is stateless widget. Whenever you are using stateless widget class, it is the abstract class in which you must need to override the build function. So there is a one function that is build. Here in build, there is a build context you can pass. It is overridden method. Instead of this throw, you can simply return, simply return an instance of material app. But what happened whenever you are using the material app, you need to import here, that is the package flutter plus material dot dot. Once you add the material dot dot, here you can simply write return material app here you can use the tag that is home colon and here you can write the message but whenever you write the message you can use the text class and you can just pass here the message for example i am writing here that is prag and then you can simply pass the semicolon over here you can save this once it is saved you can open the terminal and here in the terminal you can write the command that is flutter run and you can test your first application. So I'm just typing here that is flutter run. Whenever you write flutter run, your application will be loaded over here in the emulator. See here, the message parag is coming over here, but one, one problem is available over here. And the problem is what? There is no styling available over here. So how to apply the style? So it is very simple and very, very easy how to apply the style. Whenever you want to apply the style, here you can simply, instead of this writing that is text to Parag, here you can write that is the class that is a scaffold. Here in scaffold, you can define the app bar. Here in app bar, you can use the tag that is app bar. And here in app bar, we can call the class that is app bar and here we can just pass the title tag so i'm just writing the title of my application title and this is the simple you can say button demo now if you want to add the body tag then you can provide over here you can simply save this so you will get the idea but whenever you are writing the title you must need to write over here the text so you can provide it into the text you can save this once you save this 
you can simply call the flutter run again and once you run the flutter run the result will be affected over here so this is the application and if you look carefully over here then this is the app bar and which has the title that is button demo now i want to add the text over here so we can write the text over here by using the tag that is body so we can write over here after the app bar we can write here that is body tag and inside the body we can add the text for example i am writing here that is atmiya university you can save this and you can just simply press small r and it will be hot reloaded you will find the text over here that is atmi university now i want to add the buttons also so whenever you want to add the buttons at that time you can simply use the column children and then you can add the multiple buttons so how to do the same it is very simple instead of writing here the atmi university you can simply select this particular thing and here you can use the column here inside the column you can write the body colon column here in column we can mention the children and here inside the children we can write the text for example i am writing the text that is atmi university now not only text i want to add the button also so i am writing here that is raised button here in raised button you can mention the child text so i am using the property that is child and you can use the text text is for example this is the button number 1 and then here in raised button you can use the on pressed whenever user click what you want to do so by default i am passing here null it means the button should be disabled you can simply copy this paste and paste here you can use the comma so there are three buttons button 1 button 2 and button 3 whenever you press save the style will be available over here you can simply press small r and it will be hot reloaded over here so if you look carefully then see there are three buttons available over here but it is not selectable it means whenever user click on this button i want to press uh, print some message that the button one is clicked so instead of null here you can simply print the message what you want to do right so here in on pressed we can call the function also so i am just simply creating a one function over here and the function is for example void button click is my function here in function i am simply printing the message that button 1 is clicked right here you can press semicolon so this is the function that is button click whenever you want to call this function whenever the button 1 is clicked you can simply pass the name that is button click but don't write the parenthesis if your function is returning nothing so my function is returning void right my function is returning void so i'm simply writing here on pressed button click you can simply save this and you can hot reload again and here in emulator whenever user click on button 1 you will get the message over here in the terminal and the message is that is button 1 is click whenever user click on button 2 i want to print the message button 2 but that you can do anonymously also so how we can call the anonymous function over here it is very simple you can write simple over here that is this is the button number 2 and here in button number 2 what you want to do so whenever user click on this particular button that is button number 2 i want to call it anonymously so here you can write over here that is the parenthesis and then we can simply call the message we can pass over here that is the button 2 is clicked you can simply save this and you can hot reload again once it is hot reload you can just click on button 1 see button 1 click message is coming on button 2 is clicked uh, the message is coming on 
now i want to call the anonymous function without lambda right so you can simply write the parenthesis and then you can write the curly braces inside the curly you can write the message that the button 3 is click and then you can simply pass the semicolon again you can just hot reload your code and once you click on button 1 see it says that button 1 is clicked once you click on button 2 it says that button 2 is clicked once you click on button 3 it says that button 3 is clicked so this is the way you can define your own app bar you can define your own text view and you can define your own button so if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you all